Hello everyone. Today I will be teaching you how to make a camera manipulation script. This series First you need to create the camera, you can do that by making a new block and anchoring it. If you want to see where the camera is facing, you can do that by going into its properties and seeing its front. You want to rename your camera to anything, I prefer it as camera part. I will now position my camera. Looks good. Now on to the script. Make a local script in starter pack. Fact, there is a difference between local script and the normal script. The normal script is for the whole server, and the other is for the player. I try to make it as short as possible. If you want the full, then here it is. Local scripts runs. Each player runs their own version of the local script if it is on their client. Hence the name, local script. Module scripts are unique, because, unlike other scripts, they can run on both server and client, depending on where they are required. Make a local script in starter pack. Coding time. Local player equals game dot players dot local player. This line means that the game is getting the local player. Let's say that you did not understand. So here is the typing from Google. This means that it is getting the local player. So say you were in game and someone said players equals game. Players. Local player. That means that it is getting you character since you're the local player. Local character equals player dot character or player dot character added weight. This line is specified to the character as from local character, it basically waits till the character has been added, for you it's when you join then it waits, code player dot character added weight. Local camera equals workspace dot current camera. This code local camera is used to specify the camera, and the workspace dot current camera is used to specify your current camera. I think that was my Mr. Obvious skills. Repeat wait. This code basically repeats until the object exists which your object is the player aka character. Camera.camera .camera type equals enum.camera type dot scriptable. In this line, the code camera.camera .camera type is used to specify the camera type for our camera. If you don't know what is the enum in our code, here, I'll tell you. Enum is long for an enumeration, sometimes it is shortened to enum, it is a special data type that can take one of a set of values. For example, the material enum represents the material type for a part, you can see the enum index for the full list of enum types in Roblox, in a script, enums are accessed through a global object called enum, 
In this line, camera type dot scriptable, it basically makes our camera scriptable, if you don't know what's the scriptable type, here. Scriptable, 6, no default behavior, used when developers need to script custom behavior, that's what this line is for. Until camera dot camera type equals equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable. I think you can understand the code until that's pretty obvious. Now let's get onto some lines of code. In the code, camera dot camera type, it basically specifies the camera type of our camera. The equals equals basically compares values, and it is used in if statements. And I think I already said what the enum is, and the code, camera type dot scriptable basically confirms it. Camera.c frame equals workspace dot camera part dot c frame. The code camera is basically the camera in workspace. The code c frame, short for coordinate frame, is a data type that describes a 3D position and orientation. It is made up of a positional component and a rotational component. It includes essential arithmetic operations for working with 3D data on Roblox. I basically do not quite yet understand it, anyways. Let's move on. The code workspace.cameraPart.c frame basically says the script where the camera is. For our camera it is in workspace so workspace.cameraPart.c frame. And there you have it. You have completed the code of your camera. And you have completed this tutorial. If you want to see it work, continue on with the video. Click play and test your fully finished camera. It works. Yay. So, now you have it, a camera manipulation script. If you like this video and it helped you, please subscribe and like. This took a lot of effort for me, I replayed the video 5 times lol, and if you want more tutorials, Please comment what you want next in this new series, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.